be beginning with the fourth unit non banking financial institutions we have come across with commercial banks we have completed the regulatory institutions moving on to the fourth unit non banking financial institutions let's look at the contents that we need to cover under this we are going to study about the industrial financial corporation of india shortly called as ifci next state financial corporation that is sfc next industrial development bank of india idbi exim bank that is used for importers and exporters mutual funds and various payment banks so this is the brief about what we are going to study in this uh, non banking financial institutions chapter introduction the nbfi that is the non banking financial institution have emerged as substantial contribution to indian economic growth by having access to certain deposit segments catering to specialized credit requirements of certain class of customers now here as we have seen uh, various institutions over here ifci sfc or uh, idbi that focuses on industries focuses on development or uh, providing medium or long term loan to small scale industries or budding entrepreneurs etc so this is a different type of institution apart from we know the usual type of institution right called as commercial bank why is commercial bank set up to accept deposit and lend loans now these non banking financial institution means these are exclusively set up to cater to the certain class of customers right we just saw an example called as exim bank exim bank does not entertain uh, giving credit to uh, a student or giving credit uh, to let's say any other normal person in the society but they only focus on certain class of customers exim bank focuses only on importers or exporters okay those traders who are involving uh, only the national trade that is within the boundary of india exim bank does not provide any kind of loan or credit to them but then whom does it to provide only to exporters or importers likewise these non banking financial institution have also given a lot of substantial contribution as much as commercial banks we have seen nbfi also provide enough growth or uh, contribute towards the economic growth by having access to certain deposit schemes catering to specialized credit requirements so the type of credit that you can avail or uh, provide under the commercial banking system is different from the non banking system okay these are the specialized credit requirements because here i am focusing on small scale i am focusing on state level uh, industries or uh, you know district level industries or let's say the importers or exporters on a national level so here i am focusing on special credit requirements which directly will impact the economic growth of our india did you understand what is the purpose or what is a non banking financial institution so these are just financial intermediaries transferring funds from the ultimate lenders to the borrowers now banks also collect deposits and make those total amount of deposit available to the borrowers correct they collect the deposits and lend it to the borrowers in need but here nbfi also does the same thing but it is a special credit requirement which will directly imp impact the economic growth of the india so it is just as commercial bank is a mediator between the lender and the borrower likewise nbfi that is non banking financial institution is also a mediator or a financial intermediary between a lender and borrower they help bridge gaps in several sectors which the traditional institutions like banks are unable to fulfill now there is only a certain extent of powers or uh, regulations that a commercial bank can follow or reach to certain credit requirements but over here in non banking financial institution 
they can reach several sectors where banks cannot reach for an example it can it may not be able to specially focus on exporters or importers where commercial banks but can nbfi follow that yes nbfi can reach particularly and uh, focus on the exports of india or focus on the imports of india specifically that special attention and the credit requirements to be made available who can make it easier commercial bank or non banking it is non banking so there are certain sectors in indian economy which can only be reached by whom the non banking financial institution on a general level yes commercial banks can reach out but on a larger level and more independently it is the non banking financial institution that can reach out let's look at the features of these development banks now all of the banks that contents that i've shown you all of them focus on financial assistance or um, what to say uh, exim or um, uh, exim bank focuses on giving credit requirements so all at the end focuses on what development of industry development of an entrepreneur development of exports right so that's why we call it as in general development banks or developmental banks let's look at the objectives number 1 it is a specialized financial institution as i told commercial bank on a general basis focuses on all the needs in the society but nbfi is not so nbfi focuses particularly on certain sectors of people in the society right exporters importers uh, you know uh, medium scale industries or large scale industries budding entrepreneurs etc they focus on this specialized class of customers that is why it is called as specialized financial institution number 2 provide medium and long term finance to business units now here uh, nbfi focuses on providing medium as well as long term finance now when i am talking about a large scale industry the let's say the amount of working capital they require or the amount of uh, you know uh, long term capital they require or uh, if they want to import a machine equipment from the other country or from the foreign country all this finance is required by the industries or by uh, companies who provides that finance non banking financial institution it can be in terms of medium term or long, long term who can you approach if you are a large scale industry you can directly approach the non banking financial institution number 3 its primary objective is to promote economic development by promoting investment and entrepreneurial activity now here compared to commercial banks non banking institutions focuses on larger amount of capital okay now let's say the uh, maximum let's say it uh, deals with uh, 5 crores uh, the maximum transaction within a bank but when i'm talking on a larger scale under non banking institution they may focus on 10 crore rupees or let's say billions of rupees that is committed to a project or committed to a export or industry okay so what is the primary objective over here for all these developments banks is to promote economic development as we just studied in the introduction that we focus on large scale economic development it's a directly impacting directly impacts the development of the overall indian economy now let's say we are focusing more on exports okay we are encouraging more of exports with the concept of make in india right because when when india becomes a manufacturing hub because we have plenty of labor the cost of manufacture becomes low or the ma- cost of manufacture is lesser compared to the same product if you manufacture elsewhere in the world 
if any other country is manufacturing the same product it will take less labor and more of technology but those goods which require more of labor or handmade goods if we can start manufacturing in india the cost of the overall product will be will will be low and you can have a larger or a, a higher cap of profit on which directly it will impact the fiscal policy of india right the uh, payment and expenditure of india is called as fiscal policy now here if exports are more and imports are less automatically when we export what do we receive foreign currency remember that whenever india is trying to export any kinds of goods or services or any kind of things to other countries we always receive money in foreign currency because our uh, cost of labor is less and our profit is higher we are going to have more money inflow more money inflow into india than outflow what makes the outflow increase on the opposite it is the import of goods and services if i start importing goods from china japan or usa germany etc i'll have to pay currency in terms of their country's respective currency it can be dollars yen etc okay i need to be paying more on a higher standard of currency but instead of if i focus on exporting i will receive a more it will be more profitable for indian economy to export than to import so that way the primary objective is to promote economic development how by promoting investment so it focuses if industries have a potential or entrepreneurs have a potential or a brilliant idea where our exports can be boosted or our small scale industries within the states or districts can be improved then why not correct so these nbfi focuses on promoting investment they are ready to give you the capital that you require to begin your industry or begin your manufacturing process and entrepreneurial activity so if you have more of budding entrepreneurs who have amazing business ideas right and all they lack is capital they have an idea but to idea to come into reality you need definitely capital or funds or money who is going to provide that non banking financial institutions so its primary objective is to promote economic growth or development how do you do that by promoting investment and entrepreneurial activity number 4 a package of services from identification of project idea to management of industrial units are approved by development bank now let's say indian government has uh, Uh, you know made sure we, uh, when they started the make in india concept they need to identify which of those states or which of the cities we, where we have abundant labor where we can start manufacturing some handmade goods or uh, either it is involving technology or man right we can start it as a manufacturing hub now that is a huge process it's not so easy as we make a statement as make in india there's a lot of hard work or homework that goes behind it right you need to identify you need to manage the units okay all these financial or technical help is provided by the non banking institution that's why it's called as a package of services so first you need to identify which is that project idea which has a amazing potential to fetch good income or let's say has a good marketability okay where people are going to demand for this product so you first need to be able to identify such profitable ventures then to management of industrial units now it's just setting up is not uh, just by setting up or establishing a project or an in, uh, industry is not sufficient you also need to manage them right so if if the industry has to continue and go on for uh, go on you need 
continuous working capital that is required. So that is also provided in the form of managing of industrial units, right? The administration part, how are you going to utilize the money given by the government? How much into working capital? How much for long term capital? How much for purchase of fixed assets, etc. All these allocation or it is called as managing the industrial units are provided by the development bank. So, this is a package of services that is provided by the non-banking financial institution. Number 5, it encourages new and small entrepreneurs. Now, as I told, as long as the entrepreneur's idea is a promising one, what do I mean by promising? That means the idea will fetch enough income, will create employment, will uh, be able to depend upon our own manufacturers and not uh, depend on importers, right? Importing goods from other countries. As long as that idea is a promising and focuses on the growth of country, yes, non-banking institution will encourage all the new and the small entrepreneurs. Number six, it works in the general interest of the nation. As we just read in the introduction, it focuses on the economic growth, directly on the economic growth of India. As all these non-banking institutions focuses on not just small amounts, it focuses on a very huge investment. So, if it's a profit, it's a directly impacting the Indian economic growth. So, it works in the general interest of the nation. What is the nation looking forward? Nation is looking forward for industries to prosper or uh, meet the demand in the market, make sure the goods and services are ethical or uh, satisfactory for the consumers who purchase it and there is a continuous demand in the market for the good uh, products or services. If these general uh, demands of the nation are met, then definitely NBFIs can be one of the promising institutions that focuses or it can contribute towards the development of the nation. So, we have studied about the meaning of NBFI. We have studied about the features of developmental banks overall 6 points.